All right. Here we go. No. <sighs> Here we are, out in uh, State, nope, I don't know where we are. We're in Sand Dunes State Park in Illinois. Let me try that again. Here we are, we're in uh, Illinois, no, we're in Indiana at Sand Dunes uh, State Park. Our State Park Pass didn't let us in, but we paid 12 bucks to get out here. It's a little chilly, but the sand's warm. We'll fill you guys in on what's going on. It's, it's been a couple of pretty crazy days, but um, we'll let you guys know. All right, well, I hope this is cool. Let's figure this out. We're all gonna figure this out together. So I don't know how it works. So GoPros are made for, oh! So GoPros are made for, here we go. Dropped it like three times, trying to get this thing to work. It's okay, because we'll get it, and then I'll put it on my head, and it'll look great. You know, doesn't look the best, but if it works, it works, right? I could walk around like this. I can make this work. This could be a fashion trend. All right. Yeah. Let's go film some fun stuff. Time to do some dumb things. Are you just gonna be standing right here? Why don't you document some of your emotions? I'm gonna go roll down a hill. Okay? I love you so much. You're the greatest person alive. I'm gonna put these things here. These are very important to us. You gonna wait right here? Oh. I'm staying right here with you. Don't. Oh, I don't wanna crush your face. <laughs> Van life's hard sometimes. You gotta find the fun parts with the fun parts. All right, look at me, you're doing great, okay? Do I look goofy with this thing on? Really goofy? Is it the women's sunglasses? No. Okay. I'm gonna go roll down a hill. Okay, oh look, we got some people here. They're gonna laugh at me. Good. I'm gonna go roll down a hill. <laughs> that like that. Like really? Cool. Awesome. Thanks a lot. All right. Here we go. First initial reactions. Ow. Looks squishy. Looks soft. Not as soft as you think. Worth it? Hell yes. Okay, sorry, I'm just having fun with that. Here we go. Ciao. You're doing great. Thanks. There's sand in my teeth. Really? Hi. I feel like this is the first time we've been on 
the camera today. It's been a busy couple of days. Yeah. Jeez. So we're currently in Indiana. We're at a Walmart, of course. Again. Uh, we're going to get some groceries. Got to try to make turkey burgers tonight and maybe some chips with it. Ooh. Actually looking Ooh. good. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Okay, so after kind of uh, some ups and downs today, a little bit stressful. Um, this is our production value. Yeah. Cooking some chicken to put in the salad tomorrow and then making some tea. We'll drink some hot tea and go to bed. Get an early night tonight. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of chilly out tonight. Good morning. Oh. You okay? Yep. Don't ever pour, if you're listening, everybody, don't ever pour hot water over your bare legs. <laughs> oh my gosh. You could. It's a new day. Uh, I think we both feel a lot better today. Um, I'll explain more of like the past couple days later, but we're making some coffee right now and that's great. It's almost 11, so we're probably going to get on the road eventually. We should have like a sit down with them and just tell them everything that's been going on. Yeah, definitely. So I'm topping my overnight oats with some blueberries that I found. Not I, not I found. We're at the end of a Walmart parking lot. Just oh, making God. some oats. I'm off here. On the next episode of Jack Sets the Van on Fire, we find out if Jack actually sets the van on fire or if he's just... <laughs> did it! You lighted the van on fire? No, I did it without having the big... Oh, good. Because last time it goes... <laughs> and you know, but it's like, we're safe. People are like, oh, you're going to burn the whole house down. We've already done this seven times, so we're good. Seventh time's a charm. Never, wait, what happened the last six times? <laughs> oh, God. Um, I, did, I did make the whoo happen. That's because I was too impatient. Okay. Here you go, hon. Your, your nightly mug of milk. Ah, oh, thanks. <laughs> Gosh. I don't know if anybody knows, but mm. he loves milk. Frothy. Right, so I thought it would be a good time to have a little check-in with you guys. Uh, just be real, just be honest about what has been going on the past few days. Nothing like super serious or anything happened. I just wanted to be honest about the beginnings of our van life experience. First couple days were great. We were both, Jack and I were both super excited to get on the road and like it's a new experience and all that. So all of our like adrenaline and anticipation and excitement kind of over overran our emotions I guess that's the right way to say it. First of all like Jack got a little homesick and then he was kind of thinking like okay why did we get into this um, why did we do this we left our jobs our home our family our friends <laughs> to go like live in this box of a home basically it's not like he was breaking down but it was yeah, just all right, all right. <laughs> come on I'm gonna talk about me too all right sorry Jeez. <laughs> I don't mean to make you so Anyways, a couple days went by and then um, we spent some days in Chicago and it was super fun and exciting and I love Chicago. I was like, oh, this is awesome. Again, like my anticipation and um, adrenaline were just running me, basically. We weren't really on like a regular eating schedule, regular bathroom schedule. It was just a huge change and huge, tra huge transition from our like nine to five jobs. You know, our mental health was great and we were with family and friends back home. So that transition to this huge life experience has been a whirlwind, basically. So like I said, he kind of got some homesickness at first, and then I had sort of a breakdown after Chicago, right? It was after Chicago? At the end of Chicago. It was like towards the end of our like three-day stay in Chicago. So it was awesome, it was fun, like I said. But it got to be a lot, and I got overwhelmed. I got overwhelmed, and I was like, hey, I'm done being in this big city. Like, the weather was cloudy, and... Um, again, we weren't like on a regular eating schedule, like a meal schedule, I guess. I felt like my nutrition wasn't the greatest. I would consider myself an extrovert, but even extroverts need their alone time, like need some time away from seeing people. So I was like, okay, I'm done. And I think it all like came crashing down on like, what, the seventh day, the eighth day? So I was like, what did I do? Why am I here? Feeling emotional because it was only the seventh or eighth day, eighth day in, and also because it was a huge transition, I guess. And so I was like surprisingly homesick. I was like, I miss my cats, even though they died like five years ago. <laughs> I miss my dead cats and I miss my parents and I miss my, my house in Minnesota and I miss our old apartment. We lived in a shitty apartment in St. Paul and I was like, Jack, I am missing that apartment right now. I shed a tear or, or so. 
Sue me, I shed one or two tears, yeah. you know. I'm a human too, everyone. <laughs> the next day I woke up and I still wasn't feeling great. It was kind of like a two day emotional spiral. But you know what? The light almost. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Van life, everyone. We're kind of on an incline right now. We're in a parking lot. Basically, I'm trying to say, like, Jack and I both experienced some emotional times from this transition. And I just want to tell anybody who's watching, friends and family, viewers who want to do van life or, like, live outside of the country, outside of your state, wherever, like, a different living transition, it's going to be hard, but you'll get through it. I'm just trying to be real and tell you guys what's been going on. And it's not all glamorous those Instagram and like Pinterest photos of van life it's not all about that in our first week or so I already quickly realized that it is not all that glamorous but there are like lots of priceless moments too I mean so far we've had tons of priceless moments thank you for watching us I just want to do a quick shout out to our friends and family who are watching and supporting us and giving us advice uh, other van lifers that we've been inspired by and are following thank you everybody oh my gosh we haven't introduced Ubi to the vlog this is, this is Upia flying bison. For me... Actually, looks really good. What is it? Just regular Kraft mac and cheese with coconut... Or chicken... Chicken and I cooked yesterday and then chopped or crushed um, croutons. Ranch flavored on top. Love it. All right, good morning, everybody. You know we're uh, not quite morning people, so it's about 11 o'clock. Um, <laughs> we, got, we got up, cooked up some coffee, and... We did get up at 9.30, but then had a slow start so we're actually at this trail um what is it called what's the state park we're at national park. oh cuyahoga national park in ohio that's how it is we're gonna do some uh hikes today and some cool scenes and get some cool footage all right see you Making some lunch. Got some just regular salad with chicken, blueberries, and a couple sandwiches. Jack already ate his sandwiches in like two minutes. I was really hungry. He was hungry. I was like from falling asleep to like full energy now. Yeah. You feel good? Feel better. Good. All right. So uh, partially into our self-care day, uh, we got a good workout in. We got a great shower. We got. I feel so good. Look at how fresh my hair oh, is. So fresh. Time for some laundry and uh, editing and enjoying this beautiful day. It's like 70 degrees. This is a perfect opportunity for us to say that this video has been sponsored by Armitage Homes. Um, Scott Armitage is an amazing Finnish carpenter. He actually made our bed for us. Okay, it's a queen size bed, it's a pullout. Armitage Homes, it's amazing. If you're ever in the Twin Cities, check it out. I'm just having myself a grilling party out here. I'm trying something new. Jackson side Starbucks, just editing. We'll eat soon, yum. Got the other one cooking. This one looks so good. So I've been in Starbucks editing and Kayla just texted me to come to the van. Hey! Hey. Hey. What's over here? Oh! I got your food! What? Uh, can you even see? It's kind of dark Let's in kind of see. Let's get here, some light on here. here. Oh, wow. It's um, sausage, potatoes, and green beans with a Cajun seasoning with some salt and pepper and onions. Oh my god. That is Chef Kayla. <laughs> Dang, Chef <laughs> Kayla! <laughs> Today was a productive day. Productive. Good self-care day. Tomorrow we're gonna get up, get some coffee again, and like every day. <laughs> like like every day 
I'm like, all right, we're gonna get up and get some coffee. We're gonna grab some coffee. It's like, yeah, you get coffee like every all right. day. And we're gonna drive, right? Yeah. Yeah, drive to Pennsylvania. Just do the hand thing. Anyways, all right, good night, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good catch. alcohol right now.